Once you turn off the main road and into Ardo, you'll follow the road round past the main hotel building and into this car park. This is closest to where the pool is. There's plenty of spaces for you to get parked up and make your way down to the spa building. You enter the building through these double doors here and then you'll find yourself in the main reception. Walking through reception to this door here, you'll then find yourself in the corridor that leads through to the changing rooms. The men's changing room is on the left here and the women's changing room is straight ahead. Please make sure that you change babies on the floor and not on any raised surfaces. All you'll need is a changing mat or a towel and then you're all set. Access to the swimming pool can be found through both the male and female changing rooms and this is the area where we teach our lessons. Please feel free to take a towel with you and leave it poolside for after your lesson. At the end of your lesson you'll collect all of your belongings and then make your way round to the changing rooms. You can access both the ladies and the men's changing rooms here. Once you're dressed and ready, you can follow this corridor round all the way back to reception and exit out to the car park. We've put together this video with some helpful information for you for when you attend our classes. Arrive 10 minutes before the start of your class. Arrive beach ready with your swimming costume under your clothes. Babies will need to be changed at the venue. Wear loose clothing. This will help you change easily and quickly after your lesson. Shower at home before and after class. Please take home all your used nappies and wipes as there will be no bins provided. Unfortunately, spectators or visitors are not able to attend lessons to watch from poolside. It's really important that your child's happy nappy fits correctly. Your baby's happy nappy should sit snugly around their waist and the leg cuffs should be secure against the leg with no gaping. You should be able to fit two fingers flat inside the waistband and the leg cuffs and the pressure should feel snug against your little one's body, but not tight. Jammers should be snug against the thigh so that the silicon forms a seal. No nappy should be seen poking out of the happy nappy. This can break the seal and allow leakages. If you're unsure whether your little one's happy nappy or jammers are fitting correctly, speak to your teacher who will be able to help. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please get in touch. Thank you very much and we'll see you soon.